So what is going on guys? This is Ryan here and welcome to Mono, the extended demo. So Leon reached out to me again guys and he alerted me that he had made another addition to the Mono demo list. And this one is the official extended demo and it's about three times longer than the last. So there's a lot more things in here to uncover. A lot more places to get hacked in. You guys really did seem to enjoy the last episode on Mono, and so I thought I would definitely bring this one back. The way we're going to structure this video is it's going to be the same stuff for roughly the first third of the game. We are going to absolutely fly through that. If you guys haven't seen that before, definitely check down below and watch the previous video, you know? Give me them views. But in all seriousness, guys, let's jump into this one and play the extended version of Mono. So, hello, the developer of Mono here. Thank you for buying my game. However, I must warn you, this game isn't functional. I've had reports of it crashing many times. I never got around to finishing the AI. It shouldn't be working, but it is, and it's responsible for the crashing. And also, the fading out of messages before I'm finished reading them. Might be a bit of a clever way as well to cover your tracks if a game bugs out, you know? I mean, it's just the creature. It's not me, you kidding me? <laughs> Smart, though. So, we're gonna take the key and definitely get out of this room instantaneously with a nice croaky door. Still just as creaky as the last one then, so no WD-40 in between. Definitely made that a priority. So, we're gonna go downstairs. Come on, man. Should have seen that one coming. If I remember correctly, the first thing in the list of actions is just really exploring. So, if this is your first video, guys, and you didn't check back on the last, let's do that now, just ahead of time. We have a living room right here. We have a dining table here, and that is where the kitchen area is right there. In here, we have a bathroom. We have some door down there. We have our own room, and we have a very dirty laundry room, and I'm not really sure the significance behind this. Just hold up. Okay, here comes the scratching. Something else is in the house, guys. You thought we was alone? <laughs> yeah, right. Piers is scratching. It's coming behind the bathroom door. If you need tissue paper, simply put it on the mailing list in the next time I go shopping. I will pick some up for you. Do you feel alone out there? I think now, is that a question to me or is that like an outside question? So it appears that something gets stuck in the pipe. I don't know exactly what it is, but we do collect it once the sink fills up with red wine. That's how I'm branding this. Definitely red wine and not the last victim I murdered. Definitely not the last several. A key comes to the top and it begins to flow. So we take the key, and if I remember correctly, he actually locked the bathroom. So this is now how we enter in here. What we find in here is absolutely nothing but an ordinary bathroom. And also the fact that we are definitely a vampire. And the dead body upstairs, which I said I put down the drain and the blood came out. Clearly not. I swear I disposed of you somewhere. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Okay. It won't be for long. In we go. Oh! Oh, oh, still a pretty big jump scare. Can we click on these? No, I think apparently my desktop is broken. This isn't actually my desktop, by the way, guys. A load of people thought it was last time. This is actually in-game mono. This is the desktop for that. A little bit of fourth wall breaking right there, but now we're back in. So we open this door just as we did last time. And as you guys can see, if we especially look downstairs, yes, we have that. But the bathroom door remains open. And also, if we go over to the kitchen, that blood is still there. And then we head on outside, and this is our first encounter with, I'm gonna say, the beast. I don't know if it's the same one. It could really be anything. I should rebrand it The Glitch, because it seems to be that the AI of the game is corrupt, and it's not really a beast of such, but there it is. You can see he's glitching. He's, like, static and everything like that. Do you feel safe? Not particularly, considering my doors have closed behind me. And really, I don't feel safe with a crevice that big. Funny burglar can really scope out the place quite nicely right there. Need that sorted. It's the border keeping me free, not for long. So basically, there's something to do with the game and the fact that he needs to break free. And I believe now we can enter straight back inside our house. Yes, there we go. The doors swing open. Now we get the next item, which is going to be the camera. This becomes pretty damn important down the line. This is how we take our pictures. And this is how we discover that things aren't as they seem in the bathroom. Snap, snap. All right. And it says escape. We press the escape button here, guys. The way we have to think about this game is that we're inside a computer. So if we see something that's like got similarities to a letter or something we might do on a computer, that's exactly what we got to do. And we're going to run mono for the third time. I see him just down the end right here. You can see him staticking up nicely. We run into him, and that is actually how we get rid of him. So, there we go. There's the first. Now I've got to try and find a way of which I haven't been. All right, deeper into the maze we go. Where could you be hiding next, man? Where could you be hiding next? Wait, I think I see him. There he is. There's number two. Let's keep going this way. A very spacious bathroom, one of which I would not like to do a number two in, considering, well, I think everyone will have a nice view. Well, actually, nice view. <laughs> here we go, man. This used to be the final walk, and then the demo would end just after we got to this end door right here. Oh! I thought we got a chance to open it, man. Your PC ran into it, and it needs to restart. So even the computer knows what it is, it's called it. Oh, wow, no way. So wait. Whoa, hold up. This is how the game is changing. So we got Windows 10 to reboot and mono. What should we reboot? I mean... That kind of tells to me the fact that mono is evolving. I want to get out. We could run mono from literally a boot menu. That's so strange. What the heck is this? Do I control this? 
Hold up, he's going like backwards or something. Wait, what is even going on? What the heck was the purpose behind that? Here it goes again. It just jumps. Can I do anything else with this? I don't know what this means. Once we go past it, that's it. There's no going back. Hold up, it's just frozen. Oh, wait, what? Try jumping that, you douche. Not a chance. What the heck is even going on? I want to get out, I want to get out. Okay, now you can see Mono has literally corrupt the whole thing. Our time says tonight, so it's tonight o'clock. <laughs> it's like PT or something. It's like reusing the same environment, but to different effects every single- Whoa. Okay, I got the freaking flashlight this time, or not the flashlight, the f the photography camera. Bad description right there. Let's roll with it. So, whoa, what? What happens? Wait, step by step. Step by step. Is that what- is it trying to say like that? Oh, wait, hold up, I took a picture. I got a key? So now the camera has more of a use than what I first thought. Maybe it's the key for downs. Perhaps we couldn't open the door before. I make my escape. What the heck is going on? This is where it gets weird as hell. He makes his escape? That door's locked. Oh, okay, we're back outside again. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my goodness, wait, we can actually go? Oh wow, okay, this has been extended quite a lot then. So, we're leaving the outskirts of the house. Check this out. Man, the ambience is so creepy right now. Like, even- wait, hold up, that's the end of the- Where even are we? We're outside. Like a glitchy world, yet it's raining and stuff. There is things just about everywhere right now. You chose me. Willingly, or through force? You entered back in and sacrificed a bit of yourself. I did? Definitely unknowingly in that case, then. You will be rewarded. Wait, because I played mono and didn't go into Windows 10. So it's just like a multiple ending thing? Someday. I'll be rewarded someday. For now, is this like an endless street? I don't see any monsters around nearby. These two are a lot closer. But oh, 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 What the? Look at this thing. Look at it. Look at it. Wow. That, oh! Dude, I should not have run into it or would it have followed me? Right, my computer is so messed. I'm going to run it again. What the heck? I ran Mono again. We can't run into that thing. We have to avoid it. Wait, hold up. It's different again. This is so insane. What the heck is going on? The police station? What the heck? Okay, now the plot thickens. A police station. Ah, the door is open on this side right here. Hmm, the double doors are open. Is this the actual police station itself? Okay. We're in and we ain't leaving any time soon. We've got a monitor with a light source right there. This is kind of creepy, man. So this door right here. It seems to be locked. Oh, the key. The key. Was that there before? Was that just placed there? Open the door. Hold up. Oh. All right. First thing. There's loads of light sources, actually. Wait. Hold up, it sounds like there's something definitely coming from within here. Any significance if we, like, press it or something? We cannot. Right, that's strange. Wait. Wait. In here? Wait, what the hell? Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I'm not a fan of this at all. In here? The locker room. Okay, there's something in that one right there. Are we gonna free it? Wait. Free it! Ooh, a key. Sometimes it's good to be curious, you see. I had no idea what I was expecting to the heck was that? This is kind of freaky, man. It could be anywhere. So things are like moving and opening just behind me. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like this at all right now. All right, let's keep going. These like prison cells right here? Like, okay, we can open this one. We're going in? Wait, why would we go in? You let me out. But what, are you going to lock us in? You should be rewarded at the front doors. Wait, what is- why can we even shut ourselves in here? Maybe this is a, like an avoidance mechanic. Oh. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Okay, it's coming! Oh my god, okay, that doesn't- Oh, I can't run, man! This guy is so freaking slow! Oh my god, oh my god! Woo! Woo! Wow, his run animation and sound is kind of terrifying! You said I'd be rewarded, man! What the hell was that? Yeah, I have to be explaining to do definitely. That was not a reward, especially not for me. I've set you free. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to do, man! That sound is horrible! I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. What the heck is even going on? What are you still doing here, man? I freaked out so much with that sound. Are we supposed to be caught? Why? What are you still doing here? I don't know. Did I not warn you? You did. It's me, the developer. Get out while you still can. It's, just, it's like encouraging me to exit the game right now. Oh no. It's here. Well, I think we're too late. Oh, wow. Okay, everything has gone wrong. We've got some like reticle in the middle right there. Can you see that? So... The world as we know it has glitched. I hope this is the game world and not the real world, you know? What does it mean, the fact that this is now glitched? What is the significance behind this? We're gonna go back in here, though. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That one is, like, highlighted, like, with this kind of green glow. 
Can't interact with it. Ah, oh, man, we're back in again. I hate the run sound for this thing. Please don't be in here. Locked away, forever to stay. So locked away, forever to stay. There's only one jail cell down the very bottom right here. And it's locked. Locked away, forever to stay. What, in the game world? This is the only one open right here. What the heck? Oh, no. Oh, no. Hell no. Hell no. Hell no, dude. Dude. Oh, bro. What the freak is going on? Whoa. Wait, our camera. Wait, did we go for it and lose it? The camera is completely gone. Whoa. I don't even know where we can. This is... Woo! What the freak is that? Nothing in the sinks. Do we have to leave and walk out into the glitch? I think that's what it's trying to say. Wait, ho oh, you see. Okay, the world is literally falling apart as we know it. This is crazy. We don't want to fall into those. So, down, is this the house? If we jump in, how did you get here? An interrogation scene? All right, this is crazy. Do we sit down anywhere? It's me again, the developer. It seems like the only way to get rid of this thing is to kill it. Let's get you out of here first, though. Please, let me get out of here, man. There are three big buttons in the maze ahead. Pressing all three will reset your computer and allow us to process. Progress, but beware, it is also in there. Man, that run cycle. Ah, oh, with the run sound. I should have got a good look at the maze before, shouldn't I, from above? That's one thing I didn't do. I wasn't thinking rationally. Well, who does with all the glitches and stuff, you know? It's in here with us. One big button right there. Don't be- don't be that, don't be that, please. Okay. Press that. There's one. Ah. Uh, long corridors are not my friends right now. You know, it's like we're in a maze, but there's someone else with us. Ah, oh, dude, this is kind of painful. This might be button number two. Button number two. We're two down. One to go. Okay. I'm gonna hide. He knows I'm here! Wait, how do I escape him? I can't escape him! There was no way I could escape. He cornered me. What? Wait, hold up. Is the whole point of this the fact that we can't win? Whenever I press the second button, he appears right in front of me. All right, guys, it's going to be button two. So I press it. Wait. Hold up. No. It just appears. I can't avoid the thing. It just, I think this has to be the end of the demo. Like, I don't understand what else is going on. Right, I'm going to try and run quickly. Okay, come on. Run, run. I can't run. Wait, he ran to the button? Not me? That's so confusing. Wait, hold up. I pressed it. So he runs to the buttons and not my locate. Do I even exist then? What even am I? Can he even see me? Is that it? Did we do it? Good question. I'm so confused myself. Damn, my last thing, I thought it was about to be like a cliffhanger and we just end the game there. No. No, it isn't. Check back in the full game. So we press the three buttons, and then it's kind of been like, we're left in the dark right now. So the way that ends is a bit anticlimactic. I was kind of hoping there'd be a little bit more closure. I literally pressed a button and the game just cut to silence. There's better pacing, most certainly. Like, there's more story to this, I guess. There's like something going on here. I think we need to learn definitely what mono exactly is, like the creature itself, before we can properly get invested in the story. But that maze thing was a little bit confusing. I didn't really understand why it was going for like the buttons and why it would appear behind the second one in certain scenarios. Kind of confusing, but I'm liking how it's going so far. But if you guys did enjoyed this video, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I of course hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.